Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. If you don't keep the commandments, you're going to be at the bottom of society. All these nations are going to be uh, joined together to keep you at the bottom and oppress you. That's what God said according to the Bible. Read verse 3 again. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. So the man of sin has to be revealed, and that's what we're out here to do. We're out here to reveal the man of sin. True. Now, who is the man of sin? Uh, Satan. Satan, but who is the man? I'm going to ask you, see if you know. White if you man. Know, who is the who? Teach. White man. And why do you say that? I mean, where is he pushing? It's based on history. Exactly. Based on, we, you know, proof. Right. Read verse 4. Proof. The son of perdition, verse 4, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. This man says he's God. He said he's, the, he said he's God. He said his people the son of God, the saints. He's telling you that he sees everything. God said he has angels everywhere watching everything. Right. What does the white man do? He has cameras everywhere. He has uses his technology Google. that he got from the, the all-seeing eye. All-seeing eye, exactly. So the you understand that. The all-seeing eye is what the white man says he has. Right. He said he sees everything. He's all-powerful. All right? No, he ain't. Give me Revelation 12. Revelation 12 in uh, verse 1. Let's go there real quick. Revelation 12, verse 1. Bring it up. We're going we're gonna to describe this beast for you. It's going to be no, no getting around that. Revelations chapter 12 verse 1 and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet now this woman is speaking about the, the nation right. of Israel no, no, it's speaking about the nation of Israel all 12 all right yes sir the nation of Israel read it again and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet Okay, yeah, Jeremiah 62. We're going to prove that that's the woman is talking about Israel, okay? We're going to prove that. Because listen, what we're not going to do is we're not going to just tell you something and then say yeah, you got to believe it. We're going to break it down for you right. precept by precept, all right? This is the Holy Bible, right? Yes, sir, the Holy Bible, King James Version. Right. Same Bible that's oh, in every church. That make good, it, make good, it plain, good. Make it plain. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Zion is talking about the nation of Israel. So he's all likened 12. it. Yes, sir. All 12 is likened to a delicate woman. So that's when it says woman in Revelation 12 so is speaking about Israel. I always thought it was a, it was a, it was a that one. Right. It was a symbol. It was a symbolic. It is symbolic because it's, it's the same thing happening today. It's not literal. It's, it's literal because it did happen. The slavery in Babylon did happen, but it's both because the scriptures are double. All right. right. Read it again. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. Now we're gonna get the sun and the moon and the uh, the uh, the stars. All right, give me uh, Genesis. I think it's thirty-seven. This is thirty-seven. Yeah, that's it. I think it's eleven. Go to verse five. It's Genesis chapter thirty-seven, verse five. And Joseph. No, verse nine. Verse nine. Give me that. Verse nine. And he dreamed yet another dream. All right, so this is Joseph. All right, one of the tribes. He's having a dream. Okay, listen carefully. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. So he said, the sun and moon and eleven stars made obeisance to him. That's talking about his parents, and it's talking about his, uh, his brothers, because it's, it's twelve tribes, and we're talking about one guy said he had a dream. Speaking to his 11 brothers, 11 plus 1 equals 12. All right? So you understand that? So it was all 11. It was all, all 12, 12 tribes he's talking about. The 11. Go back to Revelation. We're going to prove it now because go back to that about the, the 12 stars. So we went back to you to show you that this is a prophecy way back in Genesis. Because your pastor tell you that Revelation can't, can't be explained because it's sealed. That's a lie. Everything in Revelation is just a, is a, is a, a big parable about the Bible. All right, you have to have understanding. You have to keep the commandments to know that. Right. Read Revelation Hello, again. Finish. Good. Revelations chapter twelve, verse one. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. Heaven is talking about the kingdom for Israel. Keep going. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. Now, who is that woman? Babylon. No, no. Who's the woman we spoke about? Oh, oh, oh. It was compared to Israel. Remember, the delicate woman was Israel. Keep going. 
excuse me, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. That's talking about the children of Israel. Keep going. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon. So that, so that, that pain being delivered is talking about Christ being delivered. Oh, that's Christ. That's the prophecy of Christ being delivered. Because at that time, it was under persecution by the Romans. So that, okay. So Remember that, right? Okay. We're talking about okay. the Romans. So it said there appeared another... Oh, uh, was it a wonder? Was it another wonder? Another. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Another wonder in our heaven. Keep going. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. So it's talking about the great red dragon. Why is it saying a red dragon? Let me ask you So she wasn't giving birth to. Uh, uh, the devil, she was giving birth to, to Jesus. The woman is giving birth to Christ. The woman was speaking about is, is Israel giving birth to Christ. He said he was in, it was in travail. And pain is being delivered. And then a red dragon is going to oppress that that's oppressor. The, that's the devil. Brother. Right. And we're going to prove that. Why is it calling the devil red? Yeah. Many, there's many reasons, but this particular reason is because... Blood, I got you, bro. It, Let me show you. You said what? Isn't it blood? Blood, blood what? The blood of the blood of the demon, right? The blood of Christ, right? We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you why. I don't know. I'm... Genesis chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-five. And the first came out red. Are you familiar with the story of Jacob and Esau, the twins? I am. Okay, we're gonna read it for time. To some extent. Keep going. And the first came out red, all over, like a hairy garment. So the reason why it says the baby came out red is because the blow was showing forth through his skin. Right. All right. Oh. Everyone on the earth at that time was not. But no one on the earth was uh, a so-called white man at the time. This is the, the um, documentation of the first white man, well, not the first, but a white man on the earth, okay? Keep going. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So Esau is what that man's name is. Esau is what we would call the so-called Caucasian, all right? Now keep going. Verse 26, and after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. So his brother came out, but it didn't mention his color. It didn't say he was a, a red man either. That's why it was two different people, two manner of people. So that was the so-called black man being born as Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel, and then the so-called Caucasian, the white man. All right? Go back to Revelations real quick. Yes, sir. Revelation. Go back to, I think, verse 4. Yes, sir. Revelations chapter 12, verse 4. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. So we're talking about when we went into captivity, when, when Judah, Benjamin, and Levi were dragged away into captivity. That's what it's talking about. When we was taken into captivity by the so-called white man. Keep going. And did cast them to the earth. That means took us out of our heaven, put us down to the position that we're in right now, at the bottom of society. In chains. Look at all these pictures right here. That's what happened to us. Keep going. And the dragon stood before the woman. It said the dragon stood before the woman. All right. It's talking about... Who was the dragon at that time? It would be Herod. Yeah. Go to Matthew 2. Matthew 2 and 13. Matthew 2 and 13. Now, I'm going to prove it because, like I said, this Bible is going to explain itself. We're going from Revelations back to the history of when Christ was around. All right, it's going to prove what it said. The book of Matthews, chapter 2, verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother. So take Christ and his mother. That's what, that's what the angel was telling Joseph. Take Christ and his mother and go where? And, and his mother and flee into Egypt. Flee into Egypt. Why would they go to Egypt? The reason why they went to Egypt is because they could hide amongst the other black people. I was gonna say, yep. Because if, if Christ was if Christ was a white man, why would he go to Egypt? You can't hide a, a white baby in Egypt. It doesn't make sense. Right. Keep going. And be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. So Herod, that demon, that white man, is gonna destroy Christ. That was the history. Go back to Revelations. Yes, it's saying the same exact thing. Was it Judas though? Who? It wasn't Judas? No, Judas betrayed him. He was our people, but but Herod at that time was sent to kill Christ yeah. because he knew Christ was the Messiah. Right. And the, the, the prophecy was that a Messiah was going to come and save the nation of Israel. If they save the nation of Israel, what happens to all the other nations? They got to go back into slavery where they were at the beginning. Yeah, they, fall. they fall. So that's why he said, I'm going to end this now while I got a chance. That's why it says that demon went to go kill Christ. Revelation, uh, where we at? Five? Four. Go back to four. 
Revelation chapter 12 verse 4 and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman that's Herod like we just read he was sent to kill Christ go ahead which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. That's what, that's what he was scared of because if Christ came and took, took back this throne, he would rule over every nation with a rod of iron. I mean, they're going to be in subjection to us like we are to them right now. They're going to have to go through all the hell that we're going through. That's the whole point of it. All right? It's more than that. Go back to, uh, was, go ahead. And her child was caught up onto God and to his throne. All right, go to verse 9. Verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. So this devil ain't nothing new. This devil's been all the way since the beginning. Right. This is that same, that same spirit of the white man's been since the beginning. That's why he got to go back into slavery. Right, was Job uh, uh, black? Job was a black man. Every, listen, every prophet in this Bible, every prophet in this Bible is a so-called so -called black man, a so-called Israelite. There's no such thing as a prophet being a white man or a hey, Chinese. I'm, no, no, I'm, just, I'm explaining it to you. I'm going to let you know right now because our, our oppression from all these people like the Arab, Arab man in that store right there, he has nothing to do with us. Right. They'll try to cling to this Bible to make it seem like we're all the same. So why would, why would the devil confuse motherfuckers like that? Listen, listen, I'm, 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 I'm going to let you know. No, you, okay, let me, let, you, let me show you something. It angers me. If, I, if I've been oppressing you for years, if I had your family in oppression, would I ever want to, would I ever want to give that up? What would make me want to give that up? If I could sit there and take money from you all the time, you had to clean my house, uh, cut my grass all day, why would I give that up so I had to go do it? That doesn't make sense. So the, like I said, go, if we go back to the second Thessalonians, don't go back, but he says he's trying to he's trying to confuse you. What's the thing that he's got? So you can stay in that mindset of you're nobody. I knew, I knew it. I knew that was Christ right there. He asked about Job real quick. All right, go ahead. I'm talking the book of Job. Chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. All right, this is, this is the prophet Job speaking. All right, listen, what did you say? Read it again. My skin is black upon me. So what did it say about uh, Job's skin? Yeah, he, he, he's black upon me. Right. There you go. So. There you go. Wow. It's, I know, I know, bro. Thank you. I got to go, but thank you. Where you got to go? You say you got to go to work? I gotta, no, I got to go in there and I got to go on home. Do you got a flyer? Uh, yeah. All right, so look, from, you're from the tribe of Ephraim according to the Bible, bro. The, the whole point of why we're out here is to teach our people the commandments, to clean up our communities, because, like I said, we're the oppressed ones in this, in this uh, nation. All right? Everyone else is getting over on us. All right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.